G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a swipe for you today. A little bit different, a bit of a play on the ghost paw, but just changing it up just a little bit. Uh, I'm using, oh, it's heavy, Floetrol. Went out and got a new big bottle, so Floetrol. And my background is going to be this beautifully dark Prussian blue. So I've got four parts Floetrol to one part paint, and this is just my global paint. It leaves the tiniest little mound. And then um, I've got a dark sort of green turquoise, a turquoise, a white, and a gold. The turquoises are Liquitex Basics. Uh, that one is the turquoise blue. This one's just uh, green and blue mixed together. My white is Artist Loft, so again, two parts Floetrol, one part paint. The Liquitex is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Everything's two to one. And the gold is the Extreme Sheen, two to one. And there we go. So all nice and thin mixes today, nice thin paints. No silicone oil. I'm going to use my little sheets of plastic. So I've got three different sizes there. We'll see how we go with that. I'm going to start by just pouring out my navy. Not sure how much I'm going to need. I haven't tipped it all out just yet. Give that a smooth over. These are just my cards that I use to pour on. I've been telling you about these for the last 18 months and where to get them, but people still ask me where to get them from. <clears throat> I buy them on eBay, but there is a link in my Australian um, Pouring Your Heart Out uh, Facebook page. And there's a link there for eBay and Amazon on what these are called and where you get them and all those that info that people want. So it's a nice thick card. It's good for practicing on. You can frame them. They don't warp. I, I lie them flat when they're drying and I don't find that they warp. Mind you, I do have a lot of paint on here. It's pretty thick. I guess if you had a really thin paint um, and not much weight on it, I guess it may um, warp a little bit. Okay, so instead of doing the lines down the centre, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I want sort of a more of an abstracty, sort of a flowy look. So I am going to basically swipe from there down, but not all the way, and then from there up, not all the way. And they'll just interchange a little bit. So how about we just get started and see how we go. So for this, it's kind of just going to be a little bit of a little bit of paint at, at one time because they won't all have the same colours in them. And I'm not going to go all the way down. Or well, sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. I'm just going to see how it played by ear, see what happens. <laughs> I lost contact there. I think I should have gone a little bit heavier on that okay and then from here I'm going to go the opposite way whoops that was a bit much but not necessarily go all the way up you see just wondering if my blue's a little thick it's kind of mm, I didn't smooth it very well oh I didn't tilt it that's why Normally I smooth it on and then I tilt it, but I've got this kind of a bump in the middle. Never mind. I'll, um, I'll improve on it next time. I forgot that I had to tilt. It's because I'm not using a canvas. That's why I forgot to do it, I think. I need my little bit of paper towel there so I can wipe that off. Okay, let's do the next colour. A little bit of this teal with a little bit of white I think and a little blob of gold and I'm going to use the smaller card this time now 
I am getting stuck there on that ripple. I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. I have to scrape it and go again. A little bit navy there. And I don't want white in all of them. You know, sometimes I might want them a little bit darker. Sometimes I'll have them a little bit lighter. See that some go all the way down and then over here they might go halfway up so it's just a little bit of a little bit different on all of them really <laughs> I dropped some there I got little blobby bits little cells which I will cover because I don't want those there. And over here, I'll see if I can get a little bit more of the, the navy and the gold to show up. Well, that's a pretty one, isn't it? I like that. So I've got some with a lot of white, some with more turquoise, the gold. So still having some negative space, but it's sort of here. I don't know, I'm just playing. Just trying to come up with some a new sort of a way of of pouring. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm having trouble with the, the ripples in the center there because I didn't smooth it over. Never mind. It is what it is. I'll learn from it and move on. Now I'd like some more white on this section. Come around here. And I think some more gold would be really pretty there. Maybe some gold and some white. I wonder what gold and white would look like together. Quite pretty because it's bringing that navy across the top, isn't it? And the last one on the side here needs a little bit more of the turquoise. So you can decide how far you want to come down, whether you want to go all the way down or halfway down. Um, whether or not you want to just stop there, whether you want to do a little one. I haven't actually used my little thin one. Where did it go? I covered it up. It's clear, so it's difficult to see. It's probably under here. And hmm, I think a little bit of navy on top of that one. Just like that. I don't know where my small one's got to. So what do you think? A little bit different, a little bit abstract. Kind of messed up that middle bit there. But it's okay for the first try, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, probably need a little... Actually, I might find my little one and then I can do a few more little strips in there because it's not quite what I was after. Where are you? What did I do with you? Oh, there you are, you're stuck to the other one. Okay, um, I do want a little bit more white, so let's pop a little bit of white just there and a little bit of navy. And then I'm going to use this little thin one just to give it a more of a, a wispy sort of a look like that. Try not to... 
try not to use up all my negative space. It's difficult when you're doing such a little surface, you know, to leave some of the navy, but it's, it's a bit tricky. Okay, now I would like to sort of see if I can fix this area a little bit. So, um, maybe if I put some navy there. And then just swipe over it and try and pick up that area there that I've messed up. Oh, that did it. I got it. Yay. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing is there's a big block of gold here. So, I'm going to just do a little thin swipe through that there. Oh, I'm going to lose my white though. Let's pop a little bit of white on with the navy. I'm liking this, you guys, I'm liking it. Wasn't sure how it was gonna go with coming down and then coming up, because normally I swipe from the middle out, and this is obviously from the inside to the middle, from the inside to the middle, so it's a little bit different. Okay, all right, love that. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Actually, no, I'm not, I don't like that white blob there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of navy just there. Look at the golds making those dendrils. I'll take you down and show you. Woohoo, look at that. Okay, so I've still got some of the navy showing through in certain areas. I'm just going to wipe underneath there so we can see where the edge is. What do you think? A bit of more of an abstracty sort of a look. Haven't got a definite line down the center, which is very nice. Let me just give it a really quick torch just to pop any bubbles that I may have. I'm not really expecting to have any bubbles. Okay. Get my gloves off and we'll take you down. I really like that. What do you think? I can't get my gloves off. <laughs> Can't get my gloves off. Oh, there we go. All right. So I guess I probably need to practice this a little bit more. This swiping technique. You know, it's just a swipe. There's nothing special about a swipe. The only difference is really that it's um. Oh, focus. I'm swiping from the outside in instead of my usual inside out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's the only difference. And of course, I love the blues and the greens and the gold and the navy. They're my colours. So I have a little bit of a practice on this little one. Then I may go up to a bigger canvas. Because so I'm just really wanting that more of an abstract look. I'm going to take it down a little bit closer. I'm down my ladder. I'm going to show you these dendrils. I think that's what you call them. Look at that. Bizarre, isn't it? With the gold doing that. And then up here we've got some white lacing. If I turn the autofocus on, is that going to focus for me? I don't have to keep stopping. So I've got some lacing there. Some more little dendrils and they're actually turned turquoise <laughs> they're so cute and up there as well i've never had that before i don't know why i'm getting that more lacing so just a variety of colors and shades So, do you like that? Something a little bit different? I like it. Um, but I must remember to tilt my canvas next time after I've covered it. And I don't have those blobby bits in the middle. Because when, when you tilt it, you get a really smooth covering. You don't get any lumps and bumps. So that's what I, I did wrong. But next time, hey, we'll definitely do this again. Let me turn that light off. Is it better? So 
going to be really pretty when it dries. You can already see the, the gold shimmering there. I think it's better without the light, isn't it? I always wonder, is the light better or is the light not better? Oh, look, I'm only on 15 minutes. Woohoo! It's a quick one. Alrighty, there we go. Um, yeah, definitely going to try it again. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.